Welcome to Essential Elements 2000. We are pleased to welcome you into the world of music making with this brief introduction to playing and caring for your French horn. Be sure you have your instrument so you can follow along with our French horn student. Before you know it, you'll be having fun making music. The first step in putting the French horn together is opening the case properly. Place your French horn case on a flat surface, checking that the latches are on the top side. The handle should face toward you. Remember, it is important to place your case on a flat surface and check that the latches are on the top side before you open your case. The French horn is easy to assemble. Open the lid of your case and you will see the two sections of your instrument. They are the body of the French horn and the mouthpiece. The first part we take out of the case is the body. Remove it from the case by holding it by the bell and around the upper tubing. The body of the French horn also includes the mouthpiece receiver, thumb ring, valves, valve keys, valve slides, and the hook. If the valves are dry or if your instrument is new, you will need to oil each of the three valves. Do this one valve at a time by laying the instrument on your lap with the bottom of the valve facing up. Apply a small amount of special valve oil directly into the round openings on the bottom of the valves. Press each valve key a few times to oil the valve. You will also need to regularly check the slides on your instrument. Each of the slides should move easily. Special slide grease is applied in a small amount to each of the slides and then worked in by gently moving the slide back and forth. Be sure to press down the valve of the slide you are moving. Once your valves and slides are working properly, you can put the mouthpiece on your instrument. Rest the bell of your instrument on your right thigh. Pick up the mouthpiece and gently twist the small end into the mouthpiece receiver. Give it a little twist to the right so it's secure. Remember, remove your instrument from the case by holding the bell and upper tubing. Keep your valves oiled so they operate smoothly. And grease the slides when needed. Rest the bell of your French horn on your right leg above the knee. With the instrument supported on your leg, you are ready to learn the proper playing position. Place your left thumb inside the thumb ring or on the B-flat valve key if you have a double horn. Your first three fingers should naturally cross the upper tubing and rest on the three valve keys. Be sure the pad of your fingers touches the roundest part of the keys. Next, cup your right hand slightly. Keep your fingers together and put your thumb against your index finger. The tip of your thumb should be against the middle knuckle of your finger. In this position, place your hand inside the bell. The back of your fingers should touch the far side of the bell, almost as if you were pushing the bell away from your body. When you play your instrument, your spine should be straight and tall, your shoulders back and relaxed, and your feet on the floor. Sit near the front edge of your chair. Your teacher may suggest that you place your right foot beside your chair leg. Your foot placement will affect the position and height of your French horn. 
The French horn is held so the mouthpiece receiver is angled slightly down and away from the player's lips. The position of the bell determines the angle of the mouthpiece receiver. So adjust your right foot position to raise or lower your instrument. Remember, the bell of your French horn should rest on your right leg, just above the knee. The first three fingers of your left hand curve over the upper tubing and rest on the valve keys. Your right hand should be curved and press against the far side of the bell. And the mouthpiece receiver should be angled slightly down and away from your lips. Before we can play, we must learn about embouchure. Embouchure is how we form the muscles of our mouth. Brass players produce tones on their instrument by forming their embouchure so they can buzz. The buzz is a fast vibration in the center of your lips. Let's try this first without your instrument. Moisten your lips and bring them together as if saying the letter M. Relax your jaw so that your upper and lower teeth are separated. Form a slightly puckered smile to firm the corners of your mouth. Direct a full airstream through the center of your lips and you should create a buzzing sound. It looks and sounds like this. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, play. Now let's try it on your mouthpiece. Take the mouthpiece off your French horn and carefully lay the body of the instrument across your lap. Hold your mouthpiece by the small end without closing off the opening. Moisten your lips and bring them together as if saying the letter M. Relax your jaw and form a puckered smile with the corners of your mouth firm. Then place the mouthpiece on your lips, so approximately two-thirds is on the upper lip, leaving about one-third on the lower lip. Take a full breath through the corners of your mouth and direct your airstream through the center of your lips and through the entire length of the mouthpiece. Start your buzz with the syllable TA and buzz through the center of your lips, keeping your airstream steady. It sounds like this. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, play. If you don't get any sound, you need to firm up your embouchure. Do this by puckering your smile a little more and blowing out fast-moving air. If you get a very high sound, your embouchure is too tight. Relax the corners of your mouth. To create a tone, your tongue can act like a faucet or valve that releases air into the mouthpiece. Put your mouthpiece up to your mouth, carefully following the steps to form the correct embouchure. Release your tongue as you say ta to begin a long note. One, two, ready, play. Let's do this playing four shorter notes. Return your tongue to its starting position before each note. Take a good breath and say ta as you begin each tone. One, two, ready, play. Did your tongue act like a faucet, releasing your airstream? Remember, form your lips as though you are saying the letter M. Keep your jaw relaxed and your upper and lower teeth separated. Firm the corners of your mouth. Place your mouthpiece so that approximately two-thirds of it is on the upper lip and one-third is on the lower lip and use a full airstream as you buzz through the center of your lips. Let's take what you learned about your embouchure 
and try it on your French horn. Twist your mouthpiece onto your instrument. The first note we learn is fingered open. Your fingers should just rest on the valve keys without pressing down. This note is called G. A note played with this fingering can sound as a high note, a middle note, or as a low note. The G is a middle note, so we must be careful not to firm up or relax our embouchure too much. Before you play, check your foot position, that your shoulders are down and relaxed, and that your instrument is in proper playing position. Adjust your hand position and check your embouchure. One, two, ready, play. Did your G sound the same as the one you heard? If it was higher, you need to relax your embouchure. If it was lower, you need to firm up your embouchure or increase your airspeed. Let's do it again and play the G as a long note. Take a good breath and use your full airstream. Do not let your shoulders go up as you breathe. Remember to say ta as you drop your tongue. One, two, ready, play. Let's tongue four shorter notes in a row. Remember to put your tongue back behind your upper teeth after each note so you are ready to begin the next note. On the note G, it will sound like this. Now it's your turn. Just remember to say ta as you release your tongue to begin each note. One, two, ready, play. Great! Be sure to practice both long and short notes on your own. Good playing habits will allow you to make fast progress. You are ready to move ahead with the exercises in your book. Remember, rest your first three fingers on top of the valve keys without pressing them. The note G uses a middle note embouchure. Say the word TA to begin each tone. And be sure to practice both long and short tones. Before you can put your French horn back into its case, it must be disassembled and cleaned. First, remove the mouthpiece by twisting it to the left. Wipe it out to remove any excess moisture. Your mouthpiece should also be washed with warm tap water once a week. Dry it thoroughly before placing it into its slot in your case. Invert the instrument, draining any moisture out the mouthpiece receiver. Next, remove the main tuning slide and get rid of any moisture. Then wipe off the body of your French horn with a clean, soft cloth and return it to its case. Close and latch the lid of your case. Your French horn will be waiting for you, safe and sound, the next time you want to play. Remember, wipe out your mouthpiece before storing it. And wipe clean the body of your French horn with a soft cloth. Playing the French horn is fun. Good luck and have a great time.